together um, and sort of debriefed at the end of our PD. And Principal Hutchison says, well, what's one takeaway? What's one thing that you would want to bring back here at William Wells Brown? And I immediately said, the amazing shake. It's like a gauntlet. They have different station scenarios. And basically what it does is that they're looking for those soft business skills and it comes in the realm of just a proper handshake. Um, they also have to demonstrate proper etiquette, uh, problem solving skills, uh, bullying situations. What would they do if they're bullied um, on interviews? So they bring all of these stations together and they test the kids on their skills. This amazing shake allowed our students to see the real world application of those skills, the practicality of these skills, and just how important they are. It's important to have these life skills because like I said, it's gonna carry them throughout their lives. They're the important milestones in middle school and in high school in terms of making sports teams and doing community work and or just doing school work in terms of playing sports or being on the chess club, whatever that looks like. Having a strong handshake, looking people in the eye, being well-spoken are just important skills that can carry them throughout their lives. I always tell my kids that it's super important to hone in on these skills as early as possible because in elementary, you're developing the habits that'll carry you through middle and high school. And the sooner that you get comfortable in a professional environment, the more opportunities are gonna come your way. The Amazing Shake has just been a really great program just to give them a trial run of what life might be like when they're out in the real world. I am so proud of the work that um, we are doing, especially in programs like this because it's not only addressing the academic side of students but also what they need to be successful in the world. It's teaching them collaboration skills, critical thinking skills. They're able to actually apply what they're learning into actual situations that they're going to encounter. And just to see the looks on the kids' faces when they were able to engage with the adults and really put their skills into practice, it was completely priceless. Programs like the Amazing Shake are so important within Fayette County Schools, I think, because it just gives people in the community an opportunity to connect with the students in those schools. And they may learn something from people in various industries within Lexington that they might never have learned. It might spark interest. It might just help spark their imagination. I also think it's good for the community partners to step inside these schools and really get to learn along with these kids and learn more about the schools themselves. We only had about two and a half months to really work with the kids, to really teach them those soft skills. And I was a little concerned by that, by not having a whole lot of time. But the kids rose to the occasion. They showed up and they showed out. And it was truly amazing. I saw our kids transform from not really fully understanding the amazing shake. And I went into the classrooms and actually tried to, you know, coach them on some soft skills. And, and I saw that transformation as they watched the videos for the national amazing shake to the day of the actual program and there was a transformation in them. They were eager, they were excited. We've been working on it for like two or three weeks and I just kept practicing, practicing on it and eventually I got better at it. So if I was uh, supposed to do an interview today for, to get a job, I would probably be prepared. I got to learn that you need a proper handshake and you need to have confidence and have a good appearance. I think that it was like a very, very big deal. In my mind, I was like, whoa, I'm going places, especially in the future. Building one's confidence and building one's ability to be bold does not start or create or happen overnight. 
it takes time. And my philosophy, if you can get them here with that age, what are they going to be like when they get up here? You know, awesome, dynamite, ready to go. So day two, we, um, from, with all the tallies, they were tallied up. There were five students that were selected to be the finalists. And so we took them on day two to a luncheon in a restaurant, a very nice restaurant here in Lexington. And they had to demonstrate some etiquette skills as well, as well as they were being interviewed. And from that interview, one person would be crowned the winner. But the takeaways from that was for me very pivotal. Um, some of the questions the interviewers asked was one particular one that really stood out to me. And it says, share about your greatest achievement. And four out of five said being named the top five in amazing shape was one of their greatest achievements. Some of the comments that they made was, I can't believe it. This is unreal, being part of this amazing shape. And I knew what it meant to me, but I had no idea the impact on the students. And so for me, it was well worth everything and I would do it again. And next year, when we come back, it's gonna be bigger and better.